Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss the immediate drug effect and the two models indicated for this type of effect. The drug response or effect can be either immediate or delayed. The immediate drug effect is when a drug concentration achieves an immediate effect. This means that there is no delay in the change of drug effect relative to the change in the concentration. But how can we describe if a drug shows immediate drug effect or not from just using a response concentration curve? To do that, we need to use the two models. First one is known as the Emax model. The Emax model, as shown here, describes the pharmacological drug effect in terms of Emax, which is the maximum efficacy that drug can achieve, the EC50, which is the concentration at which half of the maximum efficacy, or the Emax, is achieved. Using this formula, we can get a numerical value of drug efficacy at any given concentration. In this graph here, we can see that at time zero after administering the drug into the body, the concentration represented by this blue curve has increased and thus the effect as well. There is no huge delay between these two. And also after time, we can see both of them, the effect and the concentration, started to decrease. There might be a little bit of a difference between the rate of the decrease of these two, but there is no such a delay. How we can say there is no delay? By looking to this concentration effect curve, you can see that there is no loop in the curve. If there is any form of a loop, that means this drug shows a delay in the effect. Now let's discuss the sigmoid model. The sigmoid model is basically the same as the Emax model with addition to the Hell coefficient represented by N. N is a slope parameter. Slope demon demonstrate the ability of a drug to produce an effect. And the steeper the curve, the quicker the drug effect. N must be above zero. However, when N equals one, the sigmoid Emax model will be equal to the Emax model. Both of these models can give us a numerical value of uh, drug efficacy at any given concentration. Now let's discuss this graph here. You can see that there are three regions. First one is the flat region, where the concentration of the drug is above EC80. In this example, let's assume that the maximum drug efficacy is 100. And thus, at 80% uh, of the effect, the concentration achieved is the AC80. When the concentration of the drug was above this value, this region is called the flat region. You can see above this 80% or 80 concentration as well, the decrease in this green curve, which represent the PK, so the concentration of the drug, was more rapid than the decrease in this red line, which represent the PD, so the effect versus time. So we can say that the concentration drops more rapidly the effect here 
takes more time to drop from 90 to 80. And at the beginning, it almost stays the same. It's almost a flat, and thus the name comes from. After that, we obtain the linear region. The linear region is achieved when the concentration of the drug equals the AC50. So, at the concentration where 50% of the maximum efficacy is achieved. So, this example is concentration 50. You can see that almost the rate of concentration decrease is equal to the rate of effect decrease. And thus you can see the, the shape of the two curves is almost linear. And thus we call this region a linear region. This region is uh, represented by the effect being proportional to the time. What does that mean? You can see that more time spent, more decrease in the concentration and more decrease in the effect. So with time, there will be more decrease in the effect. The last region is the exponential. This region is when the concentration of the drug is below AC20. You can see the PK, so the concentration of the drug, achieves very low levels or almost negligible. But the effect is still decreasing and it is still presented. And the shape of these two curves here at this region shows an exponential shape. At this region, the, the effect is said to be directly proportional to the concentration. This was the sigmoid and the Emacs model. In the next video, we're going to discuss the delayed drug effect. I hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching.